Hey guys, in this video we review the correct lead placement for obtaining an EKG and how those leads correspond to what you are going to see on that monitor. So let's get started. When connecting your patient to the cardiac monitor to perform an electrocardiogram or ECG slash EKG, you must first ensure that the placement is correct. Correct lead placement will allow for exact tracings of cardiac activity and allow a better view of each area of electrical activity within the heart. Proper lead placement should see the left arm lead placed on the left arm, the right arm lead placed on the right arm, the right leg lead placed on the right leg, and finally the left leg placed on the left leg. Any deviation from this is incorrect and should be avoided. More on that in just a few seconds. For far too long, EMS providers have been utilizing a technique called the mason lacar lead position to place their leads on the body, without knowing they're really doing it. This position takes the arm leads and places them on the meaty part of the front of the shoulder and the leg leads and places those on the sides of the abdomen. This technique was designed specifically to be used in stress-induced exercise cardiac monitoring. Think of a person running on a treadmill hooked up to the cardiac monitor. It would be fairly soon that the patient would trip over all the wires going to their wrists and ankles using the traditional placement positions. For you, the current EMS provider, stop using this lead placement. It is inaccurate, can misinterpret and misdiagnose rhythms and really is just lazy pre-hospital medicine. A research paper from the United Kingdom's Bristol Royal Infirmaries Department of Cardiology outlines exactly why the mason lacar lead position should be avoided for routine medical care. They note, quote, placement of the limb electrodes onto the torso distorts the electrocardiograph, causing a rightward shift of the mean QRS axis, a significant reduction in R wave amplitude in leads 1 and AVL, and a significant increase in R wave amplitude in leads 2, 3, and AVF. The R wave amplitude of the chest leads is also altered. The so-called inferior leads on the exercise electrocardiography are probably modified anterior inferior leads since their R wave amplitudes correlate closely with those of anterior lateral chest lead. The inferior surface of the heart is not represented in isolation on the exercise electrocardiograph, thus explaining the reported inability of the exercise test to predict the location of coronary artery disease and high incidence of false negative tests in patients with ischemia limited to the inferior cardiac surface. So, in plain English, it really sucks at tracing cardiac ischemia, especially to the inferior portion of the heart muscle. Good luck diagnosing that inferior MI in leads 2, 3, and AVF next time. Lastly, I want to focus on how each individual lead reads the heart's electrical activity. Let's jump onto the computer and draw it out. Alright, now that we're on the uh, computer here, we're going to take a look at the lead directions, individual leads, what direction they actually look at the heart and how we're going to see it on the cardiac monitor. Starting with lead one. Lead one is gonna go from the right arm, which is negative, to the left arm, which is positive. So it's gonna go across the heart, right to left. Remember these leads always travel from a negative to a positive. It just depends on where the monitor is uh, is taking the negative to positive reading from. Okay, That negative and positive is going to change depending on what lead direction you're looking at. So here's an example of what lead one would look for a normal sinus patient. This is not a, uh, a replication. This is an actual sinus rhythm from a uh, normal healthy patient uh, that I took for you guys. So moving on here, lead two. Lead two's direction is going to go from negative right arm down to the positive left leg. And remember, lead two is the normal conduction pathway of the heart. So this, uh, this is what you want to be looking for because this is what is going to be the most accurate 
for uh, for resembling the natural pathway, natural conduction pathway of the heart. Moving on to lead three here. Now we're looking at a negative left arm to a positive left leg. Okay. Next, we're going to move into the augmented leads. Now, the augmented leads are kind of like made up computer leads. They're not going from a specific negative to a positive. They're going from an average of two negatives towards a positive. So with the AVF lead, the, um, the augmented VF lead, you're going from the middle of the negative right arm and the negative left arm and going down towards the positive left leg. Now looking at lead AVL, here you're going to go from the middle or the average uh, of the negative right arm and negative left leg and go towards the positive left arm. And then finally the AVR lead, we're going to be looking at the average or the middle of the negative left arm and the negative left leg and we're going to be going towards the positive right arm. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.